all right welcome to my channel happy holidays to you i'm intuitive empress thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served for you on today this is a general message for all signs so take what resonates and leave the rest in other words while you're feasting on this meal on today don't forget to eat the meat and the chicken and bones. Thank you for my subscribers who have been with me from the start. Those that have come this year, you have made this year. All of your subscribers have made things so wonderful. And I do thank you. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share as you interact with the channel. It does help me to pick up on your energy. And for those who have been active, I have been picking up on your stuff so don't forget to comment uh tell people your story or introduce yourself to the community this is a community a safe space where you can uh, discuss matters of the heart spiritual items spiritual things um so please 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 do connect with each other anything concerning Thing, uh, items you can get from me or services is in the description. My uh, Etsy shop is there. Thank you also for those who have uh, purchased items from the Etsy shop. Thank you for those who have donated. Please do if you feel free if you want to donate to um, do so. That link is in the description or you can hit the thank you button. All right, so the first out. We're going to get right into this um, is professionalism. Uh, you need to pay closer attention to the way you present yourself in a professional setting, whether you own a company or you work for someone. Be on time. Be prepared. Put forth your best self. People in your professional circle are watching you for promotions, uh, for deals. So conduct yourself. Um, in a way and have your worth ethic um, show forth what you have because right now you're under the microscope. Use critical thinking. Work relationships are highlighted at this time. We also have rebirth uh, for you. Uh, with every ending comes a new beginning. With all loss, grief, illness, depletion, and despair comes a new beginning, a rebirthing. Take a moment to regroup and contemplate your steps going forward. This is an omen of new cycles, new projects, business projects, new cycles in life, love, new beliefs, newfound talents, or new abilities. Okay, so not only are we ending the cycle of 2023, we're pretty much in the last week of this year so that's a new cycle so begin to look at where you are okay in your life and what you need to work on community all right so we do have the sea we have mis uh, mystery we have calmness and hope so you could have been going through rough waters having rough things happen but now there's a calmness a hope coming towards you there is pr progress when it comes to work and innovation. All right. Good things, good things. We have eight, 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 four eights. You're about to manifest material abundance into your life as a result of your hard work and consistent efforts. This is why you need to be consistent in your professional realm. We have seven, seven. You are in direct alignment with your soul's higher purpose. You are receiving spiritual guidance directly from the archangels and the Holy Spirit. Okay, so for some of you, you're going on a sp spiritual journey. For others of you, you are going on a journey when it comes to professionalism or it could be a combination um, of those. So we do have courthouse in on here. We see this person holding contracts. Um, so you might uh, have a issue when it comes to contracts in a courthouse. You're about to um, 
be successful, meaning the ruling will be in your favor. It's also a warning to those of you who are not. That's why you have to pay attention um, to um, your spiritual, your, your I'm sorry, professional work to make sure that someone does not mess with you when it comes to contracts. All right, so we're going to get some tarot on this. We're using the Intuitive Visions Tarot deck. That is um, a new deck that I created. It is not on my Etsy shop just yet. Uh, you can reach out to me in the interim um, if you want those decks. They do come direct from the manufacturer, which is in China. So uh, please be mindful of that when you order. Um, most all of my decks come that way. Um, so that is on the Etsy shop when you go there. But let me know if you would like this on your Etsy shop, on the, on my Etsy shop, and I will place it there. Okay. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God, Father God, what messages do we have for the overall collective, all signs, on this Christmas day? What messages do you have? Hmm. Hmm. So, when it comes to um, matters of the heart, because we have the lovers, um, there is someone who is in defensive mode, all right, um, protecting their territory when it comes to you, or someone could be protecting their territory with someone you started a relationship with, a baby mom, baby dad, a parent, a sibling, all right, um, this person is very territorial, uh, regardless, um, so remember just to take the high road, stand your ground, okay, um, in this situation. Or you could be uh, surrendering um, in this situation, meaning that all of the situations that you're going through is not worth it, all right? Um, this was someone that you were in a partnership, someone you saw as a soulmate that you were in union with. That's not for everybody, but it is for somebody. What else do we have? There are choices that you have to make. There are things that are one-sided and this harmony that could be going on in your relationship. And I'm saying that just because the Seven of Wands came out um, there, okay? Um, so we have the Eight of Wands. Uh, there is communication that is coming in. Um, it could be um, arguments, okay? Um, this could also be a swift change in this holiday season where this person may have had a third party or multiple third parties and now they see um what they have lost without having you so they may be hasty they may um you know reach out to you they're looking for the best time to reach out to you yeah i would be careful though because we do have the knight of swords this is fast moving energy aggressive energy energy that moves in and out okay um, this is someone who does take action, but their actions are unpredictable, okay? They have no regard for the consequences of their actions. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Heavenly angels of the Most High God, Father God. Ooh, okay. Concerning this message for the collective, the first card that flipped out is the Six of Pentacles, okay? Um, this is someone who... Um, or you could be someone who is very giving. This is the time of giving that people give a lot to charity. So you could be giving to charity, donating at this time. Or this person is coming um, for the fact that you are kind and generous. Okay, so be careful with this person. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, this is someone who is ambitious. This is someone who is reliable. This is known as the slowest night in the deck. So it may have taken you somewhat a while to get where you needed to be. But because you were persistent, because you had that vision and you stayed the course, you are about to be blessed because of it. This could be why people are coming back and trying to communicate with you um, because you have moved to another level. This could happen in the coming days up to the new year, or it could come after the new year. Yeah, because you have a young person. Um, maybe people despised your youth, um, and so they didn't pay attention to you. 
Um, this is could also be an immature person um, that um, is not realistic. That's very foolish with finances, but I'm feeling like this is you, a young person uh, with uh, money goals, having a solid beginning and having prospects. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, though, please look out for this uh, also immature energy, like teenage energy uh, with the uh, Knight of Cups. Okay. This is someone who is a hopeless romantic. Um, they go from person to person because they like the beginning of the relationship. Okay. This person is very vain. All right. So let's go and get a little bit more because we do see the rebirth, the professionalism, things are going your favor. So you really want to use your intuition, your discernment of who comes into your life at this time and why they're coming into your life at this time. So let's get, um, okay. We're going to get clarified. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God, Father God, what clarity do we have? Hmm. Wow, we have manifestation in the reverse. Okay. And we have power couple. So you had the potential to be a power couple with this person, but manifestation was not happening because they were very immature. They were listening to the wrong people. Or this could be you. We're... Um, you may pay attention to who's around you because they could be giving you bad advice when it comes to um, a lover situation. There is a lot of gossip going around regarding um, your situation, professional, um, romantic. So, or I would say don't listen to gossip when it comes to your life because it's only going to bring self-doubt into your life. You're going to be questioning your worth, uh, questioning um, your ability to do what you need to do. For many of you, um, you had side hustles, extra income, or you were trying to make your way out of the corporate, become self-employed. You could also be someone who has multiple jobs, okay? Or this person is, is someone who has who's trying to be self-employed, that has multiple jobs, that's seeking your charity to help invest into their situation this could be the uh knight of swords with the self-doubt questioning whether they can do what they need to do because they have not been manifesting okay they see coming together with you as being a power couple all right um for many of you you are bouncing back from obstacles that you have experienced in your work life in love um so continue to do that okay all right so final part but oh, there we go holy spirit thank you all right so for some of you um things have been on pause or delayed or you put this relationship on pause this person put this relationship on pause or in business you could have uh experience delays because of hesitation you could be could have lost momentum in the past or this person has lost momentum because they switched up on you that's on the bottom of the deck they switched up on you now they see that what you were saying um was actually correct when it came to matters of the heart matters of business all right and when this person comes you're going to be like bye peace out thank you next you left me hanging all right, now you're going to try to sugarcoat things and make it seem like um, things were different when you were trying to have me lack options. So you have someone who, even in business, was trying to put you in a place where you lacked options, treating you like a doormat, dodging your concerns. So for some of you, you could have a business partner that wasn't on the up and up with when it came to contracts and maybe you push back. And maybe now they have a court date um, for the contract. And it's going to work in your favor because you're going to have receipts regarding um, the fact that you did not think that what they did was a good idea. All right. This could have caused you to have a temporary setback, a rough patch. Hmm. Now you're going to be in the forefront. Nobody's going to be putting you on a back burner because they see that spark. Uh, people are going to see that instant click that so recognition at an unexplainable pool in love or in business 
people are going to know that you are a badass, uh, confident and bold, a force to be reckoned with. Hmm. You're going to be having deep conversations with people regarding love or regarding business. Hmm. Even though this person is coming up with stalker vibes, it's not going to affect you. All right, you're going to attract someone who is not obsessive, someone who is uh, genuine and loves you. All right, um, you have some red flags that's coming up from your past person here. Okay. Yeah. For some of you, this could be someone who was a player in the past when it comes to love or even when it comes to business, a scammer, but they're no longer that. They're no longer playing the field. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's why you have to use your discernment because that's not for everybody. For some of you, that person has not changed. Okay. Um, so you have to check your situation, your, your person, you know who they are. But for some of you, um, this person is making a um, 180 towards you. The 360 is going back into the same pattern, but this person is making a turn for the better, or you are making a turn for a better. You are ending cycles here in your life so you can move on um, into the new year clean and um, unencumbered by uh, these people in the past who did not believe in you, these people in the past who did not love you the way you deserve to be loved. I'm not going to say even what you want or desire. There was this person who was not treating you well. Even when it came to the business thing, you had people who were uh, savage. They were trying to come at you, okay, um, to move ahead of you, to take credit for your work. And now they are unable to do that because the cycle is over, okay? They are not going to be able to manifest what they thought they were going to manifest, but you are going to manifest what you need to manifest. All right, so let's get a little bit more into this and um, get some more to on this, all right? Um, I believe these cards, I got these um, off of Etsy from another shop, uh, Intuit Tarot, I think is the name of it, um, just so you know. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have? All right. So on the Seven of Wands, uh, we have the Ten of Wands, all right, uh, we have um, a heavy load, okay, so... Um, this heavy load could be um, you, okay, um, or it could be um, your person. So you could have had a lot of uh, responsibilities and you felt overwhelmed uh, with this person. They are on the brink of collapse, okay? Uh, with you, you are almost there, almost done with what needs to be done. Clarify the back, the lovers, Holy Spirit. Heavenly angels of the Most High God, Father God, what messages do we have? Ooh, okay. Um, why did that go all the way over there? Don't know. Okay. So, we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So, with this lover situation, you had somebody who was a reckless show-off, a daredevil, um, someone who is volatile and arrogant, okay, um, this is someone who is unpredictable and they're her holding a grudge against you. They were very hasty in their actions and jealous of you, which is why they did what they did. But in the upright, um, actually upside down, we have the eight of wands slowing down. This person is slowing down. They lack focus. They lost their momentum. All right. They have energy blocks. Okay. So their blessings are on hold. They wanted you to be delayed, and now they are delayed, okay? they're t Now they want to take the time to align. So consider that, depending on your situation. We have the Page of Coins, which we have the Page of Pentacles, but this is on the Eight of Wands, okay? Um, so this person had no follow-through when it came to work, when it came to love, 
okay depending on what your situation is so um this person or maybe you didn't have follow through in the past and you're learning from your past mistakes this person is still um a procrastinator a underachiever but then they blame their calamities on other people um there is bad news coming into this person because this person doesn't have common sense and they lack goals what i'm seeing is that this person is probably is is a chameleon okay they switch goals they switch what they want to do based on what they see someone else do and then be successful in but they don't realize the work that the, that it took for this person to do this and for it to look easy and seamless hmm wow um so we do have um uh sagittarius energy here we have more sagittarius energy so heavy sagittarius with the um eight of wands Knight of Wands and Ten of Wands. We have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Page of Coins. All right. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God and Father God. Oh, okay. Thank you. We have the Fool. We have a free spirit. So we have, in spite of this person coming in and out of your life being unpredictable, whether it is at work, whether it is with love, you have a new beginning coming. Um, you're setting out on a new path. Uh, it's going to be very adventurous for you. All right. It's going to be, um, an opportunity. Okay. You, as you step out into the unknown, clarify the six of pentacles, Holy Spirit. Okay. This was a lot that came out. The six of pentacles has, is a emperor energy. So it's a divine masculine um, that could be coming into your life or you could be the divine masculine. We have Aries energy here. We also have manifestation. So there is a manifestation. We have pre-manifest. You have a plan. You have a clear vision. Thoughts um, are becoming things. All right. This is the inception point for you. This is Gemini energy. Okay. We have the eight of cups again. Eight of coins. Um coming out uh here and we have virgo energy over and over uh this is uh you beginning to feel complacent um or scattered feeling like the work is monotonous being all work and no play so please get some rest all right um this is you uh in repetitive cycles that i do see that you are ending but someone is stuck in that okay because they are not willing to move on all right, this could be someone who you had uh, religious factors involving in your relationship. Um, or this is, could be you non-conforming because you're changing your belief system. Taurus energy, uh, making unconventional life choices. All right, this is about freedom, a uh, change of the status quo and thinking for yourself. We had in here, this person wanted you to be a sheep, just thinking like everyone else being led around uh you know uh like a shepherd to a sheep okay we do have the two of cups in the reverse yes this here this six of pentacles is regarding this unhealthy connection like i said some people are going to be coming to you because of your generous nature all right so this person um wants you to enable them they're going to be clinging to you seeking your approval and codependent wow that's why all of that came out all right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. What messages do we have with the Knight of Pentacles uh, concerning the community, intuitive community? What messages, Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God and Father God, do we have here? What messages do we have? All right, so we do have the Three of Swords falling on the Knight of Pentacles. It is in the reverse. Wow, a lot, and all these cards are in the upright. I want you to see these cards are in the upright. In the deck. So, wow. Okay, so we have balance coming in. Um, this person wants to reconcile with you. Um, but I see you letting go of them. Healing, releasing, forgiving them. But not necessarily letting them in your home or in your space anymore. 
Um, you're feeling more hopeful and optimistic as you recover. Wow. Yeah, the Three of Swords is a heartbreak card and it's upside down. So you have healed. We have the Five of Cups in the upright. All right, this is going to be an unwelcome change for this person or persons that deal with you. They're going to be in grief, sorrow, mourning, all right, because you're not allowing their emotional baggage to affect you, okay? Um, we do have the hermit. So some of you have been on your own at this time, um, soul searching, getting enlightenment, um, contemplating uh, where you should go. Um, from here, it is about growth, resolve, and getting sound advice. Wow. Hmm. We have the two of coins, the balancing act. I feel like you're adapting to your new normal, or you will be. You're prioritizing yourself, all right? You're not going back and forth with people, all right? Um, this is someone who is financially... And that, like, you know your finances, you learned from the past, all right? But this person did not. And we have the Six of Swords. Yeah, you have better times ahead. You've moved on to calmer waters, overcoming hardship, conflict, and becoming stable. Now this person is going to be in emotional anguish with regret, emotional baggage. Like I said, emotional baggage. I can't make this up. This person is not allowed is not going to be allowed to do that to you anymore. They still have some unresolved issues. All right. I do feel for those who are in the work world, um, you're going to get a team of people who are going to help you that is like minded. Okay. Um achieving goals, having synergy. All right. So if you had a bad partner when it came to business or on the job, things are going to be working in your favor and people are going to be working with you instead of against you. This is a whole new season coming to you. All right. In these next couple of uh, days, weeks in the new year, months in the new year, things are turning around for you. All right. Final messages. I like this message. Final messages. Holy Spirit, what are the final messages for? Wow, the intuitive community. Final messages. Mm. So we have cancer energy. You could be a cancer or this person that we're speaking about. But that's on your mind could be a cancer. Take it as it resonates. Or it could, you could have cancer in your chart. Um, so check the free birth chart. Um, somebody has lost a significant amount of weight, possibly this cancer. This person tried to replace you. Why? Because they felt like that you were a good narc supply. All right. They treated you like a prey and that's what they're going to be coming back. All right. But you have tapped into the Holy Spirit or you will, or I recommend that you do. All right. Because there is unfinished business with an air sign for some of you, not all of you. You could be a cancer with unfinished business with an air sign. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Final messages. Final messages, Holy Spirit, for the intuitive community. Final messages. Mm, wow. That was a lot. And that flipped over. And... All right, I'll find that later. Let me see. Hmm. We have Capricorn. So the Capricorn could be evolved, could have unfinished business with an air sign. We have a Capricorn who may feel trapped. We have someone with the first, last, middle initial of E, F, G, or H. Uh, there that you have a soul contract with or a soul tie. And this person can't stop missing you. We have a Taurus here. And we have a Pisces, all right? We do have gang stalking. So some of these signs could have been someone that um, was trying to gang stalk you. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Oh. We have a Scorpio here coming out. And we have a Scorpio that may be feeling small because they lied to you. Mm. But you're attracting abundance. That's what this 
is saying. You're attracting a, a, a abundance. You're te telepathically rejecting someone that gambled on you. This could have been last week. This person was very deceptive. Someone with the first, last, middle initial of I, J, K, or L, or nickname. All right. Some of you may not have left, but you're planning to leave this entitled person. Continue to speak life into yourself, regardless of this crazy ex, even if it caused you grief. Any black magic has backfired a thousand fold. This person, for those of you that are in separation, is missing your cooking and the Holy Spirit is saying job well done. Wow. <laughs> Well, that is the message that we have for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video out. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.